Decentralized applications rely on Web3 APIs like Infra, but most of these services are centralized, which goes against the ethos of blockchain. In this video, I will give you a quick intro to Pocket Network, a decentralized infrastructure provider for Web3. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and at Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. To connect your dApp to a blockchain, you need to either host a full node yourself or connect to a node provider like Infra. Hosting a node yourself is hard and providers like Infra are centralized. The Pocket Network was founded in 2017 to make Web3 infrastructure decentralized. It served the main blockchains like Ethereum and Polygon. It's a network of independent node operators. It connects app developers to node operators. The network is a blockchain that runs on a proof-of-stake consensus algorithm. There are two kinds of nodes, validator nodes that runs the network itself and servicer nodes that fulfill the API request of decentralized applications. POKT is the native utility token of the Pocket Network. It's used for running validator nodes, using servicer nodes, and the governance in the Pocket DAO. The Pocket Network requires both developers and node operators to stake POKT to participate in the network. Nodes earn rewards for fulfilling API requests from decentralized applications on a per request basis. Nodes compete with each other to provide applications with the fastest response times. Unlike most traditional block rewards, the reward of the Pocket Network is dynamic. The more nodes join the network, the cheaper the transactions. 89% of the Minten POKT token goes to the servicer nodes, 1% goes to the validator nodes, and 10% goes to the Pocket Network DAO that governs the protocol. As a developer, you can also host your private node on the Pocket Network to ensure high availability while still taking control of your infrastructure. In the front end, you can use the Pocket.js SDK to connect to the Pocket Network. Pocket has an official wallet and a block explorer. It also has a testnet, NFO set to let you quickly experiment with the network. So that's it for this quick intro to Pocket. Hey, I'm curious, what do you think of Pocket? Let me know in the comments down below. Bye.